Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I'm excited to show you the brand new Breakdance 1.5. So new in 1.5, we have a ton of polish and fixes. Consult the change log, that's gonna be somewhere here, there, whatever. But here are the main new features. Number one, we added support for alternate templates to the post loop builder. Number two, you can now put static content inside the post loop builder. Number three, we enhance the user experience in the custom CSS box. It auto fills with selector. You don't have to type it in anymore. Number four is dynamic data god mode. That's more for advanced users. I'll get into that at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's take a look at what is new. New in Breakdance 1.5, we've added the ability to add in static content inside a post loop. So here I have a real estate website I built with advanced custom fields and Breakdance. And I have a number of properties on this website. All the data is in advanced custom fields like bedrooms, bathrooms, price, etc. And then I designed a template that I used to display each item in this loop. And then I used Breakdance's post loop builder to create a paginated loop of these real estate listings. Now let's say I want to add in a call to action. Maybe every other one should be a call to action, or maybe I want the center one to be a call to action. Well, new in Breakdance 1.5, you can add stuff inside the post loop builder using the static content options. So here's the call to action that I designed, unlock your dream home, contact us, and I want to display that right here. Let's go ahead and go into Breakdance and do that. So here I am inside Breakdance, and new in 1.5, you'll see we've added an advanced section right here. Open this up and you'll see static items. Let's go ahead and add a static item to this loop. So I'll click add item. And then under global block, I will choose the want to know more block that I created previously. Let's choose that from the drop down, And now let's choose a position. So I could put it in position two and it would show up right here. I could enable repeat and I could repeat it every second item and it would show up like this. Or, or I could disable repeat and I could put it in position number five and then it would show up right in the center, just like this. Now I probably wanna change my pagination settings because right now we've got nine items, three by three grid, and one here, so it doesn't look good. We wanna get rid of this. So to do that, we're just going to go to query, edit the query, and we only now want eight posts per page. Let's apply the query, and beautiful. We've now added in a static item to our post loop. New in Breakdance 1.5, we've added support to use an alternate template, an unlimited number of alternate templates when using the post loop builder. So here I've used the post loop builder to create a list of property listings, and the image is on the left for every single listing. But let's say I want to make it left on the first one, and then right, and then left, and then right, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's go ahead and go into Breakdance and do that. So here I am in Breakdance, I've used a post loop builder, and I'm repeating the global block listing loop part A. Here is that block. Well, let's make another block. So I'm just gonna go here and copy, and I've already created a new block here. Let's go ahead and paste. And in this one, let's drag the image over to the right. Let's go ahead and save this. So we have block A, image on left, block B, image on right. Now let's go into the post loop builder, and we'll go to advanced and alternates. We can add an unlimited number of alternates. So you could do every second block, every third block, every 69th block, whatever you want. So let's go to add item and let's choose listing loop part B. And we're gonna put this in position two. And then under repeat, we're gonna repeat it every second item. And here we go. Image on the left, image on the right, image on the left, image on the right, and so on and so forth. New in Breakdance 1.5, we made it so the custom CSS box is auto-filled when you click into the box. Let's go to an element, go to settings, go to advanced, and go to custom CSS. No need to type anything in, just click, and your cursor is automatically in the right place, and you can do what you want. New in Breakdance 1.5, we've added dynamic data god mode. This is an option for advanced users who wish to override the default Breakdance type safety for dynamic data. So here I have a text element, and let's open the dynamic data dialog. And let's say I was on string, which would be the default. It would show me all the things that I could set the text field to. But let's say I chose image URL. Well, it's now saying that I can't set the text field to an image URL because this returns an image URL, but uh, it's expecting a string. However, certain advanced users may use custom field plugins that Breakdance doesn't recognize the types from, or any number of other scenarios where you'd like to override this protective behavior. To do that, just choose all and toggle the new disable type safety option. Now you can put anything anywhere. 
All right, that's an overview of the new features in Breakdance 1.5. If you like what you see, go over to breakdance.com and try Breakdance today.